Hey guys, it's Conan, and today we are doing another favorites video. My last one was titled Fall Favorites, and I can't really name this Winter Favorites because it, winter isn't over yet. But I thought I would just tell you guys what I've been liking as of lately. I have collected a few things from like my birthday and from just random thrift store shopping, and I thought I would show you guys what I've been liking. Also, don't mind my hair today, it looks very strange. But I've been sick for like the past week which has been a ton of fun. When you're sick, you're not supposed to go to bed with wet hair, and that's what I normally do. So I've been drying my hair with a towel, and it always ends up looking very strange. But we're just gonna have to move past that, okay? So I have my list in this little tiny moleskin that my friend Skylar got me. Let's get into it. So the first thing, and probably my favorite thing on this list, is this jacket. It's incredible. That's like all I have to say about it. <laughs> Look how cool it is. It's super amazing. Basically, I was at the thrift store with my friend. I walked in and I like immediately zoomed in on this jacket because I was like, what is that? I need that. Give it to me. And I like ran towards it, grabbed it off the rack, and now it's mine. So if you didn't know, Polo Ralph Lauren made a lot of the clothes for the Olympics throughout all of the years they've done a lot of clothes for the Olympics and this just happens to be the souvenir jacket that they made for the 2012 London Olympics like when I first saw it I was like is this an ex Olympians but it's not normal people were allowed to buy these jackets but they were definitely not cheap so I did a little bit of research I found out that this jacket is actually worth around like $400 and I got it for $5 <laughs> and also it's reversible <laughs> ready <laughs> Wham bam! It's reversed and it's like a completely different jacket <laughs> and it has all these things on it. Basically, it was a very good find at a thrift store. Um, I'm gonna keep it probably for the rest of my life because I'm in love with it and it's just amazing. It's amazing. It's so cool. Yeah, I probably won't wear it at school because um, you can't trust those hoes. They... So yeah, that's this jacket. I'm in love with it. Next on my list is kind of a silly one. <laughs> it's this big, like, blue velvet robe that my mom got me for my birthday. It makes you look like either an Italian mobster or like a 50s housewife, and there's just no in between. It's super soft though, and it's also like super warm, and it's been fracking cold lately. Literally yesterday, it was 74 degrees outside. 74, I was like, I'm getting heated out here. And then the next day I woke up, it was, I'm not kidding, I'm not being dramatic, 18 degrees in the course of like a few hours. That is Texas weather for you, I can't. <laughs> so this robe has been very handy lately, very soft. And I love it. Next on my list is actually this thing that I'm wearing right now. It is a maroon, like a mock neck sort of thing. Turtleneck, mock neck, I don't really know what you would call it. My friend Ellie got it for me for my birthday and she got it from a thrift store. It's by this brand. See, when I show you guys things from thrift stores, I don't really expect you to go buy like the exact thing. I kind of do it more for just like hopefully inspiration for your wardrobe because most of these things are pretty old or they don't make them anymore and stuff like that. Next up are these blue sunglasses. These sunglasses make me look so vintage. I love them. They've drawn a lot of attention while grocery shopping. A lot of old men and old ladies being like, I had a pair just like that when I was younger. And I'll be like, really? But I really like them. They're super, super cool. They are from Eyelight Direct. They are the Cupertino frames, which actually are just like normal glasses. But on the website, they have like the option to put a tint over normal glasses. And so these are Cupertino, like normal eyeglasses, not sunglasses, that I put a blue tint over and they're super neat. This isn't sponsored, but if you use this code, you can get 10% off your order. And also right now it's like the holiday season, so I think they have like a ton of things for sale. So if you're looking for new glasses, I buy direct. Next up is the beautiful, beautiful music list that I have going on. It has been a good month for new music for Conan, and I've been trying to find like new people who maybe you haven't heard of yet. First on my list is this girl named Maggie Rogers. Basically, Maggie Rogers is a very new artist. She only has two songs out right now, but um, she has been the soundtrack for like most of the past month, and that's saying a lot because she only has two songs. So basically, I've just been playing two songs over and over and over. Her song, Alaska 
Alaska is probably the most popular um, because a video of Pharrell Williams reacting to it got really viral and so that kind of was what ended up getting her signed. But my favorite song of hers is a song called Dog Years and it's super cute if you listen to the lyrics. It's basically saying that she counts her time in dog years so every single second that she lives is worth more. You know, that's just so cute, it just makes me want to cry. <laughs> I think that's adorable. She's super cool. She has really groovy beats and I would really suggest checking her out. Next is a song called Hurt Me by Lapsley. Lapsley? It's kind of hard to say, but um, the chorus is super cool. I love the lyrics of the chorus. It's just cool. Like, I wish I had written this song. It's cool. Next, if you haven't listened to A Seat at the Table by Solange Knowles, I really would suggest it. My favorite song is Cranes in the Sky, which is kind of the one that's picking up a lot of attention, but it's so good and every single time it plays in Starbucks I sing along and everybody just looks at me, but I can't help it because it's so good. The whole album is actually beautiful. If you haven't listened to it, listen to it. My hair looks so weird. That's okay. Next is a song that's kind of older. It's a song called Bridges by Broods. Anybody who is a Troye Sivan fan, you're gonna love this song. Also, Broods did the vocals for Ease, and that song is so good too. So basically, if you like Troye Sivan, you'll probably like this song. And the music video is also super pretty. I would suggest watching it with the music video because I'm an extremely visual person and the music video I feel like perfectly matches the song, which normally isn't the case. It's beautiful. Next I thought I would mention, just because it's been something I've been listening to a lot lately, it's Blonde by Frank Ocean. I am a huge Frank Ocean fan. Me and my friend Summer listen to so much Frank Ocean all the time and when this album came out we kind of pooped our pants but super good just give it a listen even if you don't like Frank Ocean's old stuff just try it out because it's so groovy next is lifestyle which I only have one thing under and it is reading that's all I wrote <laughs> because the year has been kind of winding down and I had less work at the end of the year I was reading a lot because I was super stressed out about other things I didn't want to read like something that was hard to read I guess so I ended up rereading the series that I read when I was actually in elementary school it is the series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. They're just super cute books. They were nice to read. I read an entire book in like, you know, a few hours, but uh, they're nice. Next is movies. I watched a ton of movies this past month. I guess since it's winter and me and my friends don't really want to go outside anymore, so we kind of like go to the movies or watch movies in. Also, I figured like since it's winter break for most of you guys, you guys are probably going to be staying in as well. So here are three of my favorite movies this month. The first is the movie Edge of Seventeen with Haley Steinfeld or something like that. Seinfeld? No, that's the show. Steinfeld. It's one of those like coming of age movies. Whenever like they make like a ooh relatable teen movie, like I can't stand it. I just want to like cringe and disappear into my body. But this movie was actually so good. I loved every second of it and Haley was so good in it and just so funny. Actually funny. Like it's hilarious. I would really suggest seeing it. I think it's still in theaters. If you're a teenager, you will like it. The next two movies that I'm mentioning are on Netflix, so if you want to watch it on Netflix, they are there for you. The first is a movie called The Imitation Game, and it has Benedict Cumberbatch in it. It's pretty sad, actually, at the end. It's really heartbreaking, but the whole movie is super interesting. It's basically about this genius mathematician who invented computers. I'm not gonna spoil anything. It's super good, but if you don't like sad movies, I maybe wouldn't suggest watching it. But the whole movie isn't sad, it's just towards like the very very end. It's actually like infuriating, it makes me so mad, but it was so good. Next is a movie called Little Boy. If you guys don't know, Little Boy is the atomic bomb that ended the world war. And this movie is super, super beautiful cinematically. It's about this little boy in a town who is kind of like bullied a lot, but the whole town is dealing with, you know, extreme racism towards the Japanese people. And there's this one guy who is Japanese who lives in the town, and basically the little boy who is bullied a lot befriends the Japanese guy, even though the little boy was raised to be very racist towards Japanese people. And it's just this really beautiful, cute cute story about how they become friends and overcome their differences. It's filmed at this like cliffside California. It's just so beautiful. But also it deals with real issues that people had when the war was going on. I 
lived in Hiroshima for about three years when I was younger and I still go there all the time so the movie like really affected me. I really loved it though and I would suggest watching it if you haven't seen it and it's on Netflix. Give it a watch, it's really good. So that is all my favorites for this video. Not that many like tangible things, but I thought some things that you could hopefully enjoy over the winter break. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I would love for you guys to tell me any of your favorites the past few months because I love to discover new things and I read every single one of your comments. Anytime you comment, the past like few videos, you guys have been commenting so many things and I've just been loving reading them. I'll be like scrolling through them in bed, I love them. So please tell me something that's been your favorite for the past Month. Also, if you give this video a like, it helps out a ton because it helps other people see this video. So please give it a like, and I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video. God bless and goodbye.